Good day everyone. This is Jennifer Casabar. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to discuss crime prevention campaign. Let's begin. Most of the citizens are not conversant with and take for granted the business of crime prevention and control. They have the tendency to be fatalistic and complacent with the bahalana attitude, such that they shall do something about it only after victimized by a crime. First, let's begin with the definition of crime. So what is a crime? A crime is an act committed or omitted in violation of public laws forbidding or commanding it. So, when we say crime, there will only be crime if there will be an act or omission. So, an act, it means that you did something that could affect the outside world. When we say an act, it means a bodily movement. And when we say omission, okay, you have the obligation to do, but you failed to do. Okay? So, this is in action. Dapat mong gawin, pero hindi mo ginawa. And that kind of inaction is a violation of public laws which commands it or which forbids it. If the law commands and you fail to do, okay, then there is a crime. Sabi ng batas, gawin mo ito, pero hindi mo ginawa. Then that is still a crime. But when the law forbids and you did what is forbidden, you still committed a crime. Sabi ng batas, wag mo tong gawin, pero ginawa mo. Then, that is still a crime. Okay? So, there are two ways to commit crime. That is, crime by commission and crime by omission. Okay? So, a crime is an act that is injurious to the norms of the society and that is unacceptable acts in the society. Ito yung isang gawain na hindi katanggap-tanggap sa ating society. Okay? So, we have here the elements of crime. Okay. These are the elements of crime under the criminological point of view. Okay? Ang pag-uusapan po natin ay elements of crime under criminological point of view dahil meron din po tayong mga tinatawag na elements of crime under the legal point of view. Okay? So, we have here the desire, the capability, and opportunity. So, una, ano nga ba yung tinatawag nating capability? When we say capability, it is the ability of the person to execute the acts or omission punishable by laws. So, ito yung tinatawag nating abilidad or kakayahan ng isang tao na gumawa ng isang krimen. Okay? Dahil hindi naman lahat ng tao ay kayang gumawa ng krimen. Like for example, yung mga sanggol, yung mga babies. Do you think ang sanggol merong kakayahang mag-commit ng crime? Okay, wala. So, that is capability, yung kakayahan or abilidad ng isang tao na gumawa ng isang krimen. Okay? So, hindi makukompleto ang elements of crime 
kung wala yung tinatawag nating desire. Okay? Ano ba ang desire? Desire is the one which induces or pushes the person to do the crime. Okay? Ito yung tinatawag nating motibo. Okay? Ano ba yung motibo ng tao? Bakit niya ginawa yung krimen? Okay? Motibo or yung adhikain niya. Bakit niya ginustong gawin yung krimen? Okay? Like for example, yung mga rapists. Bakit nga ba yung mga rapists ay ginawa yung bagay na pangrape? Okay? Dahil meron siyang tinatawag nating sexual desire sa kanilang mga biktima. Okay? For example, kahit na maiwan kayong dalawa ng kasama mo sa isang place, okay? pag wala kang pagnanasa, okay? or wala kang motibo doon sa kasama mo, then, hindi magagawa ang krimen. Bakit? Okay. Dahil kailangang merong something that will pushes or induces the person to commit the crime. Dapat meron kang motibo para magawa mo yung krimen. Okay? Sabihin na natin, meron kang capability. Okay? Meron kang kakayahan na gawin yung action na yun. Pero, wala ka namang motibo. Okay? Wala kang desire. Wala kang pagnanasa. Then, a crime will not happen. Okay? Para makompleto ang elemento ng mga krimen or ang elements of crime, meron tayong tinatawag na opportunity. When we say opportunity, we are referring to physical possibility that a crime could have been committed. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mayroong pagkakataon. Okay? Dahil kahit ikaw ay may kakayahan or capability, meron kang desire or pagnanasa or motibo, pero wala namang pagkakataon para gawin mo yung krimen. Then, wala ding krimen na mangyayari. Okay? Like for example, gusto, mo, gusto mong nakawan yung malakanyang. Okay? May kakayahan ka. You have the capability. Meron kang desire. Gusto mong makakuha ng pera. Okay? But you don't have the opportunity to do the crime kasi nga yung malakanyang merong security. Okay? Still, a crime will not happen. So, you need to take note, the crime will not happen if one of the elements of crime is not present. May desire ka, may capability ka, pero walang opportunity, then crime will not happen. Kaya nga siya tinawag na elements of crime. Dahil, para mangyari ang krimen, dapat kompleto ang tatlong elemento na yan. First, the capability. Number two, the desire. And number three is the opportunity. Alright? Next, let's move on now to crime prevention. Crime prevention is an act to be done in order that a crime would not happen. Okay? So, the ultimate goal of crime prevention is to reduce the risk of being a victim. Okay? Successful crime prevention efforts will promote a safer community by enhancing the perception of safety and the attitudes and behavior that help uh, the people feel safe. Okay? Reducing crime or prevention of crime must be a community effort. Dapat yung mga tao sa community ay magtulong-tulong 
para ma-reach yung goal ng crime prevention which is to reduce yung risk na yung mga tao ay pwedeng maging biktima ng krimen. Okay? It requires the work of not only the law enforcement, hindi lamang po yung ating mga kapulisan, hindi lamang po yung ating mga uh, barangay officials and even the barangay tanods, but also the community itself. Okay? Wala naman sigurong may gusto na maging biktima ng isang krimen. Okay? So, let's move on now to the safety tips okay, on how to prevent crime. First, get familiar with your surroundings as soon as possible. Colleges disclose information about violent crimes on campus. This information is usually available from the security department. Ask around to find out where the trouble spots are on the campus neighborhood. So we all know that they are disclosing information about violent crimes on different colleges. But then, you can ask the security department kung saan yung mga lugar sa loob ng school or even in the vicinity of the school kung saan yung mga trouble spots so that you will be able to take care of yourself when you are on that spots. Okay? So you need to get familiar with your surroundings as soon as possible. Next, of course, you need to be alert. Report crimes or any suspicious activities to the police, school authorities, or even to your parents. Okay? If there are crime took place, okay, to your school, or if you notice something suspicious activities, okay, you need to report it immediately to the law enforcers or even to the school authorities and to your parents. Para nang sa ganun ay matulungan nila kaagad yung mga biktima or yung mga gumagawa ng activities na yun which is uh, illegal or which is kahinahinala. Okay? So, you need to be alert. Okay? You need to report crimes immediately to the proper authorities. Don't carry guns, knives, or other weapons to school. Okay? Actually, that is one of the uh, school rules in our university that uh, carrying guns, knives, or other weapons is prohibited. Okay? Tell a school official immediately if you see another student with a gun, knife, or other weapon. So, you need to report to, to the school officials or proper authorities if you see another student uh, carrying gun, knife, or other weapons. You need also to tell your teacher or parent or any other trusted adults if you're worried about a bully, threats, or violence by another student. So, if bullying took place, you need to tell to your teacher or even to your parents. Okay? So that they could address the issues okay, regarding yung kung sino man yung nambubuli at kung sino man yung biktima ng pambubuli na yun or even yung mga pananakot or yung mga sinasaktan ng mga kaklase ninyo. And in this time na tayo ay nasa online class, hindi pa rin po maiiwasan na magkaroon ng mga bullying or any other threats and violence against the students. Okay? So, if you, uh, if you are worried about something like that, you need to tell to your teacher or even to your parents so that they could address the issues. 
as much as possible, you travel as a group. Kung kayo ay lalabas, kung kayo ay may mga lakad, or any other activities, you need to travel as a group. Okay? This is especially true after dark. Okay? Kasi karamihan sa mga nabibiktima talaga ay yung mga uh, nagtatravel ng mag-isa lang niya or yung mga pauwi, mag-isa lang niya, wala siyang kasama. Okay? So, as much as possible, you travel as a group or kung meron ka mang pwedeng makasama. Okay? Plan ahead and avoid activities at night as possible as you can. Whether your agenda includes a night out on the town or a long evening study, make a safety plan in advance. Mention your plan to your friends or parents and let someone know if your plans change. So, for example, meron kayong thesis okay, or meron kayong evening study. Okay? So, uh, before kayong pumunta doon sa location ninyo or sa place ninyo kung saan kayo mag study you need to make a plan kung anong oras ka pupunta, hanggang anong oras kayo doon, and also kung ikaw ay pa na. Okay? And then you need to mention your plans to your friends or even to your parents nang sa ganun alam nila yung mga gagawin ninyo and even yung mga magiging kasama mo or magiging kasamahan mo doon sa evening study ninyo or yung mga paggawa man ng thesis or kung ano pa man yan. Okay? Nang sa ganun maging aware yung family mo or yung parents mo kung sino ang kasamahan mo that time or sa place na yon Nang sa ganun, Kung meron mang mangyaring masama, okay, wag naman sana, okay, alam nila kung saan kayo banda, anong oras ka doon, at umalis, at kung sino yung mga kasamahan mo. And, if your plans change, you need also to um, tell it to your parents immediately. Kung sakali man na mag-extend kayo ng time sa pag-aaral, then you need to uh, notify your parents or your friends. Okay? Next, travel on well-lighted and well-traveled streets at night. Avoid unlighted areas, walk in the middle of the sidewalk, and never loiter in deserted areas. So, as much as possible, pag kayo ay pauwi na, at yan ay gabi, okay, Iwasan ninyong maglakad doon sa mga walang ilaw or walang mga street lights. Okay? You avoid walking in unlighted areas. And as much as possible, you walk in the middle of sidewalk. Okay? Nang sa ganun, pag merong mga tao dyan sa sidewalk na yan or sa area na yan, at least kita ka. Nang sa ganun, kung merong mang, mang, masamang tao na pwedeng lumapit sa'yo, ma-identify nila kaagad kung sino man yun. Okay? Act confident. Pay attention to everything around you and stand or walk confidently like you know where you are going even if you don't. Okay? Walk with your head up, look around, notice everything. Always scan your immediate surroundings. And in addition, you need to keep your distance when walking past strangers on the street or in dark areas. So, this is very important that you need to act confidently when you are walking during at night or when you are walking in the uh, alleys. Okay? Magpakita ka na ikaw ay confident doon sa mga ibang tao nang sa ganun, hindi ka mukhang vulnerable victim sa kanila. Okay? You walk with your head up and you need to look around in your surroundings. You need to be alert so that 
you will be aware if there are some strangers or passers-by doon sa lugar mo or doon sa area mo, at least, um, mapaplano mo kung ano yung magiging action mo kung merong mga masamang tao na pwedeng lumapit sa'yo or gumawa ng masama laban sa'yo. Okay? Next, be a moving target. Do not give an attacker time to plan an attack. When going somewhere, keep moving. Okay? Huwag kang mag-stay sa isang area. Okay? Kasi, pagka nasa isang area ka at nakikita ng attacker mo na andun ka lang, you are not moving somewhere, then the attacker could have enough time to plan on how he or she is going to attack you. Okay? If you are in a parking lot, that is potentially unsafe, walang mga security, walang mga CCTVs. So, you need to get in your car, lock the doors, and then you leave. Hide valuables. Of course, when walking in bad neighborhood at night, or at night, do not wear valuable jewelry. Keep your purse inside your coat or tuck close to your body. Okay? Do not wear loose bag or backpack. Okay? Kasi alam nyo, no? Minsan nasa tao rin yan, bakit siya nabibiktima? Okay? Pupunta ka sa madilim na kalye, lalabas ka, and then you are going to wear valuable jewelries. So, what do you think? You can be a good target. Okay? Lalo na yung mga halaang bituka dyan, kailangan na kailangan ng pera. Okay? Pwede niya yung hablutin. Pwede niya yung nakawin. Okay? Because you as the victim, nagpapakita ka ng motibo na pwede kang maging biktima. So, as much as possible, you need to hide your valuables when you are walking on a bad neighborhood or during at night. Or minsan nga kahit hindi gabi, pwede kang maging biktima. Because you are showing motives to the would-be criminal. Okay? So, you need to keep your your purse inside your coat, yung mga pitaka mo, yung mga wallet mo. Okay? You put it on your bag, but you need to make sure that your bag is not loose. Okay? Your backpack is closed. Okay? Para hindi ka uh, machempuhan ng mga attacker mo, yung mga would-be criminal, na kunin yung mga valuables mo. Okay? So, you need to be safe as always. Trust your intuition. Ito, guys. You need to trust your intuition or yung tinatawag nating instinct. Okay? For example, you are in a house party or a dorm. Room study sessions. Okay? For example, uh, pakiramdam mo, hindi na comfortable na andun ka sa lugar na yun. Like, for example, nararamdaman mo na merong mangyayaring masama or hindi na okay yung environment. Okay? Pag ganoon na yung klase ng intuition mo, yung mga instinct mo, you need to pack up your stuff immediately and get out of there. Okay? Your safety is more important than being polite. Okay, you need to trust your intuition or your instinct. Be discreet. Okay? Don't broadcast details of your personal plans. Okay? To your casual acquaintances or to strangers. If you must work late in an office or building, alert a friend relative or security guard so he will know where you are and when to expect you. For example, uh, medyo nagabihan ka sa work mo kasi nga nag-extend ng time si boss. Okay? You need to notify your friends or your family members na ama pa, malilate ako sa pag-uwi. Mga 10pm ako makaka-uwi. Okay? Nang sa ganun, ma-alert sila kung kailan yung expectation nila na ikaw ay uuwi. Okay? Kasi ba diba, ang dati, ang usual is 8pm, naka-uwi ka na. Okay? Baka sila ay uh, magpanik na, bakit wala ka pa? Okay? And also, 
you need uh you did not uh need to broadcast or all the details of your plans okay for example ah lalabas kami ng family ko magbe-vacation kami sa Tagaytay for one week okay broadcast mo na yan sa Facebook sa Messenger sa mga tweets sa Instagram walang may iwan sa bahay ninyo Oh, for one week, lalabas sila. Walang may iwan sa bayan nila. Then, your home, possible, maging target yan ng mga kawatan. Pwedeng nakawan, kasi nga alam nila na walang tao for a period of one week. Pag, umu pag uwi mo, wala na, yung, wala na yung mga bags mo na mga mamahalin. Wala na yung mga jewelry mo. Okay? Wala na yung mga laptops mo cellphone or any other valuable things na nandun sa bahay mo kasi nga, broadcast mo yan publicly. Okay? So, wag masyadong open sa mga ganong klasing bagay na mga personal plans nyo or as a family. Okay? You, did need, uh, you don't need to broadcast it to the public. Okay? So that, you could prevent the commission of crime. When in bus or jeepney, do not extend your hands out of the window. Siyempre, di ba? Huwag mong ilalabas yung kamay mo doon sa window ng bus or sa jeep. Okay? Your watch or jewelry could be snatched or your hand may be injured by other vehicles. Okay? When you ride a vehicle, for example, ikaw ay nag-tricycle or ikaw ay nag-taxi kung may taxi man sa inyo. Okay? Take a habit of looking or getting the plate numbers. Okay? This will be handy in case you leave something in the vehicle or if the driver tries to hurt, injure, or rob you. Okay? Pagka, for example, di ba, gusto kang sakta ng driver or gusto kang ipunta sa ibang lugar, okay? At least, pag nakuha mo yung plate number, kapag text ka or tawag ka kaagad that there is something wrong with this vehicle. Okay? That's why you need to be very alert for you to prevent crime. How about theft prevention? Para may iwasan na ikaw ay manakawan. Okay? Do not leave a small electronic items such as cellular phones, iPads, and MP3 players unattended or unsecured. The, pay, uh, the best place for these items are at home. Okay? Uh, pwede naman talaga magdala ng mga iPads, telephones in the public place, but you need to make sure that it is in a safe place. Uh, to your pockets or to your bags. Okay? Or wherever it is play, uh, safe. Okay. Lock your car and secure your keys in a safe place. Okay? Do not wear expensive jewelry or clothing. So, like what I have said a while ago, as much as possible, do not wear any expensive valuables or jewelries because that could be a motive of the would-be criminal na pwede niyang kunin yan or nakawin yan sa'yo. Avoid buying goods in sidewalks. Bakit? Okay, that is to prevent pickpocketers and sidewalk hawkers. Okay. Never argue with strangers in the street. Ignore them and just live. Okay. So, do not hesitate to call the police when you see something that does not seem right. Okay. Alam mo na hindi na okay yung nangyayari. Okay. Hindi na okay yung environment. There is something wrong. Okay? Do not hesitate to call the police or any other authorities that could help you. Okay? So that uh, you could prevent the commission of crime. Alam mong parang something is wrong na. So, para ma-prevent mo pa yung mas uh, or yung ikaka-worsen nung situation, you need not to notify the police station or even to the proper authorities such as the security guard, uh, kung nasa school man yan, the school stops, or even to your friends, 
your family members or your parents. Okay? Because you need to keep in mind that safety is the first priority and safety is everybody's concern. Okay? So, that's all for this video. So, I hope you learn a lot from a crime prevention campaign and I hope that you will be safe as always. So, that's all for today. So, thank you and stay safe.